Hey Libra, what's up you all? Welcome to the Sacred Sage. This is your weekly reading for the week of 10th of December till the 16th of December 2018. And what a week ahead of us. This is the best week of 2018 and mark my words because none of the weeks for which I have done readings and even before we started Sacred Sage, I used to do personal readings for so many people and every time people would come back and ask me, when can we actually manifest what we want? You know, when will the universe be kind on us? And when will Saturn stop testing us, right? This is the week, my lovelies. This is the week. Jupiter is going to take a new birth in the sign of Sagittarius, which is its own sign. And therefore, it is going to bless you with everything that you need to get your wishes to come true. And also Saturn is going to go invisible in the sky. So which means that all the karmic blocks that were there, which were not letting you um, actually achieve that you've been really wanting to achieve, all those karmic blocks will be diffused. Now, let me tell you, it does not mean that Saturn is going away and it's going to stop teaching us all the karmic lessons. That's what it is supposed to do. It is a planet that teaches you the righteousness, the law of karma, right? So by no means can you digress from the path of karma, but then it only means that uh, all the tests that were so hard and strenuous and then they were just torturous, right? They were painful because Saturn is a strict teacher, now is the time when he says, listen, you all, if you know what is the right path for you, and if you can walk the path of karma, then here's your stage. You be the star. Get all that you want. Please note, Saturn only teaches you lessons. It does not mean that it stops you from getting what you deserve. Whenever it is kind or whenever it is 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 sure that you've learned your lessons it always blesses you and this is the time where you can get all of that for yourself all right so yeah getting started with your reading the week may not start off really well and that's not something that you should be depressed about despite the fact that you have moon right there which means you have stress you have anxiety something's playing heavy on your mind and uh, you're kind of worried about something right and we did clarify so I think uh, for a longish time, Libra, what you've managed to do for yourself is to run away from situations. Okay, you've you've managed to to be in the space where you don't essentially have to confront people or speak the truth. But then this week, you will not be able to do that because you have the five of swords, which means that whether there's a trigger or no trigger, there is something which is about confrontation, which is about a fight, because... Uh, yes, the Five of Swords card is about you winning, but then it is after a brutal battle, which means that, yes, you may have to speak the truth. Uh, you may have to be blunt with a few people in and around your space. And then when that happens, when you speak for yourself, you finally get over this cycle, which has been stopping you from achieving all that you deserve. Now, what does it get you as the truth is revealed and as you proclaim your power um, after over overcoming this battle, you will you will manifest a relationship. OK, I, I believe this is something to do with your personal life. Uh, you have been in a situation which has been stopping you from being uh, being with the one who is actually your companion for life is your soulmate, definitely, because you have the lover's card, right? So some situations of people around you were actually uh, there to to block you from uh, getting to the one who is your life partner. And as the truth is revealed, as the battle gets over, the death card symbolizes that that cycle of people stopping you from getting close to your loved one is finally going to get over. The new cycle is starting. A new world is already to stretch out its arms and welcome you in, right? So it's a beautiful energy. There's the lover's card. So love is coming into your life. You also have the fool, which means that if you were in a state of being indecisive, not sure, then you're finally ready to take that leap of faith, right? So death there, world there, the fool card there, and also the chariot. So 
all of these energies collectively, whether it was because of people or situations or your own energy of indecisiveness or apprehensions or your fears, you're overcoming that. So it's going to be slightly challenging till the time you don't overcome it, but you definitely are overcoming that. And because of that, you will be with the one that you love the most and the person is the one for you. And you will also consider a long term relationship, something which is legit, something that leads to marriage. It's all right there. So it's, it's a blessing that's coming from the universe. Also on the monetary front, there may be some kind of gains that you get, some kind of uh, unexpected money coming in could be the Christmas bonus for all you know. Or maybe someone comes and gives you some gift that you were not expecting. So, yeah, I think you are taking that leap of faith, right, Libra? For once in your life, instead of being so calculative, which you are, because you always balance it out, right? You will be someone who is ready for the adventure. You want to take the risk now, right? And and that is the strength or, or that is the energy that will take you forward with this person who is by all means your companion. So I believe the person's already there. You know this person. It's not a new energy. What is new, however, is your energy because you've been, uh, you've been someone who's been uh, very, very um, uh, refrained or restrained because of your own circumstances or people around you. But now in life, you will take that risk. You will, you will be ready to, uh, to accept this, uh, new phase of your life with, uh, all arms stretched out. The world is there for you. Happiness is coming to you. Love is coming to you. Companionship is coming to you. And trust me, whoever this person is, is the one for you. So no matter what kind of toxic equations that you've been in, I, I don't even know what your situation is and who are these people and why were they trying to block you. But maybe there was a lesson, right? Maybe, maybe you had to go through that karmic cycle, but it is getting over. A beautiful life is waiting for you and the love of your life, I'm sure, is waiting for you to just go up to them, make them that proposal get them that ring go get married take them home <laughs> they're just waiting for you go for it libra have a great life ahead and yes since jupiter is all set to bless you ask jupiter to give you that prosperity and strength and uh, stability in your life so that you can embrace your life with your loved one god bless you take care